hey guys welcome to max house and today i am doing my wash routine with you and then i think i'm gonna do a separate video showing my guaranteed twist out results um right now my hair is just extra big it's dry because the last time i styled it i didn't have any styling products i was out of town and i left my products so i had to use like conditioner and water to style my hair um and it it actually had some interesting results like it was kind of cute but it just didn't hold the hair that long so anywho um i'm about to wash my hair now so i'm using the carol starter black vanilla sulfate free shampoo along with the black vanilla hair smoothie oh i'm sorry and then i will also do the tea tree tingling shampoo from trader joe's um so this will be my first wash to kind of get because I have dandruff really bad like I'm pregnant right now and it's worse than what it normally is. Uh, I don't know why with this pregnancy. I guess the hormones and everything it just has my scalp like really dry and really bad. But anyway um, I was using this before but the only bad thing about it is I feel like it dries your hair out sometimes but I'll do it once a week or um twice a month or something like that so anyway this will be my second wash and then I'll do the deep conditioner so and I'm doing it in the kitchen just because it's easier for me to record when I do it in the bathroom it gets all steamy and I don't want I don't feel like dealing with that so let's get started oh and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with videos like this and others I do family videos DIYs all kinds of things we just have fun here so make sure you subscribe washing my hair I try to focus mostly on the roots because that's kind of what needs the shampoo the most to get all of just any build up flakes get all of that out of there and then after I kind of make sure my scalp is taken care of and then I spread it down like whatever's left I spread it down to the rest of the hair because this needs to be cleansed too because of course you're putting hair products and stuff throughout the week there and my hair is really thick so I kind of have to use a lot of product oftentimes and I really try and scrub this scalp especially like I said because I've been having a lot of dandruff lately and that stuff be nasty and embarrassing <laughs> especially like if you wear black it reminds me of the Head and Shoulders commercial. Whenever they show like the person with the flakes and all of that, and that's just not cute. And just FYI, if you do use this, it is gonna tingle. I think that is in the name of it. But I don't want anybody to be surprised like, what the heck? <laughs> but I'm gonna rinse this out and then we will move to the second wash. And yeah. All right, so now I'm going in with black vanilla sulfate free shampoo i don't always do two washes like i said um i do use the black vanilla shampoo often um in comparison to the tea tree one i like i said i may do that like twice a month so every other wash that way i'm not like drying my hair out too much i like the black vanilla one because it cleanses and moisturizes the hair and considering that my hair is already naturally dry, plus the blonde and me getting that flat ironed and all kinds of stuff, it needs all the moisture it can get so that it doesn't break off. So now, whew, for the deep conditioner, I love this stuff. Let me tell you, this was one of the first products I used when I went natural five years ago something like that and I have always loved that I might have tried different things but I always came back to this one I do take a large amount of it and I literally just put it all over my head um, I know somebody might say like okay well is it getting to all of the hair and stuff I don't worry about that right now yeah I don't worry about that per se right now because long as I put it like all over I'm gonna go back through 
and like brush it into sections and as I'm brushing I'm spreading the product throughout my hair so I feel like it just helps with the wash day like to hurry it along because I just don't have time on a regular day to be sitting here trying to like do a section and then you're struggling and then like okay also by putting it in just all over it kind of helps the hair melt a little bit so by the time I get to that section to comb through it's a little easier to get through it's more slip and easier to detangle all right so I'm taking my fingers and parting down the middle oh I need some hair clips I'm gonna go get them so one big part down the middle and then come in here And you see I just did that with my fingers because again like for real everyday washing and styling the hair not every day but you know weekly the biggest thing is sometimes and the biggest gripe about naturals is that it takes so much time I don't have time for that so I just do stuff that I feel like speeds up the process and so by me just using my fingers instead of a comb like, you don't need a right tail comb just split it with your fingers this is my favorite detangling brush um, I did get it from Sally's. You can watch my detangling video. I'll add it on to the end of this uh, video. Um, and then you can see all the different brushes and combs and all of that. But this one is my my go-to uh, best holy grail brush. And I always start at the ends. I do a nice grip on the hair. Start on at the ends. and slowly work my way up and so one thing I learned about hairstylists over these years is that hairstylists they don't play with this natural hair meaning that before I used to be like this oh I don't want it to break off oh my gosh I have to protect every strand be gentle I don't want to like mess it up you go get a silk brush them hairstylists be <laughs> whoosh like <laughs> they be moving through that hair so quick so and it don't be breaking off that's the key thing so that's when I learned no hold on to that hair and comb, comb it brush it like get through it stop acting like you're scared of the hair but what you think it's gonna do bite you so anyway then I just twist the section boom so basically I just go throughout the hair doing a bunch of these sections so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back and see I still I have product on my fingers that's left over and I just spread it throughout, you know. So that's why I say I don't be worried about did it cover all my hair when I first put it in because by the end of the day it will. Like by the time I'm done combing it through. And what's great about this is, is that I don't have to detangle later because it's already done. So I get one of these little plastic shower caps or a plastic bag depending on what I have at the time. Cover it. Go sit under the hair dryer for... Today we're doing 10 minutes because I'm trying to make it to Essence Festival and I'm in a rush and I need my hair to dry. So, Okay guys, so this is my hair dryer. It is like the one that's on the pole um, and it rolls. So that's a perk and plus to it. Um, I am going to sit, like I said, for 10 minutes under here. And I just wanted to show y'all what I'm reading, which is... Crushing It by Gary Vanderchuk. Really great book talking about entrepreneurship, which is what I'm about in life. So, just sharing because sharing is caring. And um, let me know in the comments what you're reading. Okay, guys, I am back and I have pretty much done everything in the world while this conditioner has been in my hair. Started off, I did send a hair dryer, but since then, like, I have folded clothes, made my bed. Um, ate some tacos like <laughs> I don't did I sweep I don't know but that's real life for me like I feel like sometimes if I'm like on a time crunch then I do um well which I kind of was but I've been moving my plans around for today um if I'm on a time crunch then I do like do everything all together but then other times I just be letting the conditioner sit in my hair and I know some people talk about, oh, it can make the hair mushy, um, and it's too much, or it's, it's, it's over, 
I guess processing the hair and all of that but I never had a problem and I've been doing it for years so I'm good with what I got going on so anyway um, I'm finally about to rinse it out and yeah I'm gonna use cool water to rinse it out Okay, and if you notice, my hair is still in the little plaits. It's already detangled from when I originally um, brushed it and made my section. So, this is a towel. I know sometimes people use t-shirts, which mm, I do and I don't do. Like, I, I, I ain't got time for <laughs> I just ain't got time for it. So, now I'm not taking the towel in like thoroughly, like whoosh, 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 going through my hair. No, I'm not doing that. But I will just put it around my head to hold this water in so mostly that it doesn't drip everywhere, but not that I'm trying to dry my hair. So anyway, now I'm gonna move on to my weekly twist out routine. That's gonna be a part two to this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned some tips. This is what I do every week. It's pretty quick, like I said, to me the biggest thing is cleansing my scalp, um, using moisturizing products that really help my hair since it's so dry and processed, along with uh, suctioning and detangling while deep conditioning, that really seems to help my process along because, I mean, a lot of naturals sometimes tend to dread wash day. So for me, over the years, this has been what like really works for me and makes my life easier. So make sure, again, you subscribe to my channel. Also, you can find me on Instagram. Everything is Meg's house. And that is the wrap to this video. So until next time.